What is up, lovely ladies and gentlemen? Steve Collins coming to you from beautiful, gorgeous San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, purposeful coach and speaker in the world. I hope you guys are doing great. As you know, I did a live video every single day for almost five years. Then COVID and quarantine hit, everything shifted. We stopped driving to the office, started doing Zoom. So I leaned into the daily message coming through quotes, personal quotes rather than personal conversations. And I still continue to speak and teach every day. It just happens to be the coaching clients instead of everybody else in Facebook world. So welcome back to you. I'm happy to be here with you today. So what? Who cares? Big deal. Do the damn thing. One more time. So what? Who cares? Big deal. Do the damn thing. What am I talking about? Every single person on planet Earth has some of the basic similarities shared among themselves. They, they would like the idea of doing better than they are doing now, becoming more than they currently are now, accomplishing more than they are currently accomplishing now. They want to be healthy. They would like to be happy. They would like to be reasonably prosperous. They would like to enjoy good relationships and most of all, have hope that tomorrow can be even better than today. So what do I mean with, so what? Who cares? Big deal. Do the damn thing. Here's what I'm talking about. That thing that you have been putting off that you really want to do or that dream that you have set aside or that big, hairy, audacious goal, the BHAGs as we call them, that you may have in your heart that maybe you let go of. If you are in a job you hate, if you are in a long-term abusive relationship, if you are in a situation where you absolutely feel like there is no way out, I am going to be the voice of light and truth to you today to say it is a damn lie. You have a choice. You have an option. But you don't understand, Steve, these things will happen. Yeah, they will, which is where it comes in. So what? Who cares? Big deal. Well, I could lose everything. So what? Who cares? Big deal. Well, I could, I could have to start from the ground up. So what? Who cares? Big deal. What do I mean by that? I mean, if the benefit of the thing that will likely work out in your favor is likely to happen because you've brought in relationships and resources to help you, you will probably accomplish the thing and it will be worth it in the end. But Steve, it might take me five years. It might take me 10 years. So what? Big deal. Who cares? Guess what? If the Lord allows you to live, the time's gonna pass anyway. The time's going to pass anyway. So, but you don't understand, Steve. I don't know if I can do it. Well, neither do you until you go for it. But you don't understand, Steve. Nobody in my family's ever done it before. So what? Who cares? Big deal. Do the damn thing. Do the damn thing. Do you realize the power you possess to make significant life changing decisions and the reason most people will not is because of fear. Now, you know what? I don't like the gurus that say it's false evidence appearing real. Because you know what? I could stand in front of a Monet. I could stand in front of a Degas. I could stand in front of a Picasso and, and it may be fake. And guess what? I have no reaction whatever that's going to cause me to do one thing or another. It may be false evidence appearing real. That doesn't mean a damn thing to me. You know what I call it? You know what I call fear? It's feelings experienced aside from reality. Let me say that one more time. Feelings experienced aside from reality. What do I mean by that? When you imagine the thing that could go wrong or the time that it could take or the consequences that you would have to suffer sacrificially just for a moment, you begin to, through those thoughts, create feelings that you will literally experience that will paralyze you from taking action. And those feelings are experienced aside from reality because you haven't even begun the damn thing. You haven't leaned into the damn thing. You haven't pursued the damn thing. 
You are just experiencing the feelings, fear, F-E-A-R, feelings experienced aside from you. False evidence appearing real. Well, false evidence appearing real never made me want to shrink back or be paralyzed or gripped with, I don't think I'll do that, I think I'll stay comfortable. But false evidence appearing real doesn't make you wig out. Feelings that you experience aside from the reality of the situation will stop you in your tracks every time. You must prepare your mind and heart to accept whatever consequences may come your way because of this, ladies and gentlemen, you can not fail. But Steve, what do you mean by that? I'm so glad you asked. You cannot fail. You will either win and accomplish your goal or you will learn that way that didn't work. And so you'll try another way. You either win or you learn you never lose. Do the damn thing. But I might, I might lose all my stuff. So what? Who cares? Big deal. By the way, I can say that because I'm the guy who has made the millions, lost the millions. I'm the guy who has made the dream house come true and lost the dream house. I'm the guy who has built up stuff and lost it again and again. But guess what? Building it back up is actually pretty easy because now I have some knowledge of what not to do and had some knowledge of what did not work and may I share something with you ladies and gentlemen it took me 17 years to accomplish my dream and you know what the time would have passed anyway so what if it takes you 15 years so what who cares big deal do the damn thing whatever that thing is do the damn thing if you're gonna risk you might as well risk big if you're gonna stretch you might as well stretch big. If you're going to take the chance, the chance better be big. In the words of my Vietnam helicopter pilot, war hero father, Colin Collins, my dad, Buddy Collins. Son, no balls, no blue chips. This is what I live by, ladies and gentlemen. You know that thing that you're worried about? You know those risks you're worried about? You know the stuff you're worried about? So what? big deal. Who cares? Do the damn thing. The time will pass anyway. The time will pass anyway. And you cannot fail. You will either win or you will learn. And if you have to do iteration after iteration before you get it right, that perseverance going through the iterations on to way to your dream is what keeps you from being a douche when you do accomplish the dream. Now, instead of being a douche who got it handed to you very easily, you have pain and scars and blood and sweat and tears and trials and tribulations to get to where you finally achieve the thing. And when you do get there, you tend to have some humility. You tend to have some compassion. You tend to have developed the character in the furnace of affliction that allows you at that point to be a person who can have incredible compassion on others, who is willing to serve others, and who understands very clearly that it was other resources and other relationships that came together alongside you because once you decided, once you committed, once you locked in, all of heaven will gather around you to help you accomplish your goal. You know what decide means? Let me get weird with you for a minute. Suicide means to kill oneself. Homicide means to kill another. Genocide means to kill a generation. Decide means you kill off all other excuses and options. Kill them off. It's a decision. It's not an intention. It's a decision. It's not a hope. It's a decision. It's not a pipe dream. A decision. Decide. Kill off all other options. Move forward aggressively in the direction that is in your heart. But it might take me 20 years, Steve. So what? Who cares? Big deal. The time will pass anyway if the Lord lets you live. The time will pass anyway. And then 20 years from now, you'll be like, eh, sitting in a bar, I had a dream once. Eh, it didn't happen. I didn't go for it. Or you will say, I busted my tush and here I is. How you doing? Let me buy all y'all drinks. Ladies and gentlemen, the time's going to pass anyway. You never lose. You win or you learn. The only way you can truly lose is if you quit or if you fail. Good afternoon, and it's good to be here with y'all in the morning. So what? Who cares? Big deal. Do the damn thing.